Hey there everyone, it's Val and welcome back to Departed, the early access, uh, well, beta version of the new, or one of the new mod packs available on the FTB launcher. It's not available for public use yet, um, I don't know when it will be, however, uh, you can check out the streams, you can check out this end of the day tour to see what what's going on. Probably the, the stream will give you a better idea since this is the tour. But anyway, speaking of the tour, let's get started. Um, we've been collecting... oh, it's nighttime. All right, well, we've been collecting banners and it's, it's totally a bling thing, but when you get nine of them, you can uh, combine them in a crafting bench and get a gilded one. And when you get nine of those, you can combine that those of the same banner, obviously. Uh, combine those and get uh, the next version up. There's several tiers, I think three or four of them. So basically bragging rights. So we've got two gilded banners. One from the Deep uh, deep Lands, which is one of the dimensions uh, we went to. And I'll take you there in a moment just to show you what it looks like. And then we have um, this one here, which is the Gilded Energy Banner. And I'm not quite sure what I get those from. We've been doing pretty good. The snazzy purple armor you see me wearing comes from um, Mother Mother Voidwalker, I believe is what they're called. And they, they can spawn down uh, near the bedrock of the overworld. And the, as uh, Gore said, the energy banner is um, from the overworld. And we actually went hunting today. Um, if you go to Extreme Hills, you can find um, mobs called Golbies. And if you look on the middle row of icons, the crossed swords, um, if you hunt hunter mobs of the appropriate level, uh, you can level that up. And I've got, well, almost a five, but not quite. And Golbies in the Extreme Hills are one of the things that you can uh, get that from. Uh, when you're a low level like me. Once you get to level 12, then you can go for the next group, um, which is in the savannah. So if you have to cross a savannah to get to an extreme hills, run very fast. Do not stop. Do not turn around. Just run. <laughs> uh, yes, be fleet of foot. Um, I did some organizing. I, As you can see, I've got um, things labeled out here. And in here, this is basically our main storage for things that we don't use constantly. And, uh, well, I'm sure we'll add to it. This is just the start of it. Uh, Gordon made knapsacks, so we each have one of those now, as well as uh, sleeping bags, which we made on our trip to go to the Extreme Hills, because it was actually... I think about 1,500 blocks from here, so it was quite the trek. I've also made uh, a pair of ender pouches and a pair of ender chests, one for each of us, so that we can put really critical things away if we find them, just in case we have an accident. Uh, it has been known to happen. Alrighty. Also, here, um, we've got a new arrival here. We've got a snow golem. Uh, we weren't sure if he'd survive here, um, but he does, and we can get snow from him. So, this is excellent. Smoothies for all. Oh. I see you have a fire staff now, uh, Gordon. He does indeed. <laughs> All right, so let's go and have a look at the deep, deep lens. And get away from that slowness that's annoying me. No, 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 I don't want to go through there. All right, why? All right, I'm having a small issue. I can't get the door open. Hmm. 
There's a portal beyond that. I swear there is. There we go. You have to actually... <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. We were both trying to open the door and it just wasn't working out. Thank you. Doors and I don't always agree. Uh, so this here is the portal to the deep dark. And you get... Um, what are those things called? Actually, I should have shown you before I came here. Anyway, from killing realm stone. That's right, sorry. Yeah, deep dark realm stone. Um, you get them from killing certain uh, mobs, and for the other realms as well, there's 18 different dimensions, I believe, and there might actually be some more being added. I'm not entirely certain. Uh, but you collect realm stones from different creatures you kill. For example, from the Golbees, um, I collected uh, six Haven realm stones uh, in our hunt today, so that worked out really well. But... So you use the realm stones on the circular carved rune right there. Once you uh, create the actual uh, altar, I think it's called ancient ancient altar. Hang on, let me look it up in any eye. I didn't actually make it. That was Gordon. So uh, ancient 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 rock. No, oh, is that it? Ancient, shri ancient Shrine? Hang on. I can't remember what it was called. What is this thing that you placed called? An ancient... Teleporter. That is not what I was wanting to do. There we go. Alright, it's this thingy. The Ancient Teleporter Blueprint. You need to make sure you have a big enough area, 5 by 6 in each direction. And so where... Oops. H had an accident? <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, you place it, it creates that, and then you use the realm stones on the circular rune. <laughs> and then it creates this portal, and you go through. Alrighty, so you... I don't know if you always uh, end up on a black mushroom, but that's certainly where we, we showed up. And I'm just going to show you here, if I turn on the F7 so that it shows you where mobs can spawn. You can actually see the mushroom much better. As you can see, it's got three layers. And that's just like the one that we're on. And the things down there that look like uh, lava, that's actually a crystal. And the stuff that you're after here is actually in the ceiling. Um, they're called deep cases, and basically they're ancient uh, boxes that uh, when you hit with a pick will open up and give you what's inside. And what's inside can be realm range from, you know, a nice piece of armor, potentially, or more, li more likely, like me, you will get a bunch of uh, coins. In my case, the copper coins. I think that's the lowest level is the copper coins. Uh, but I did also get some uh, deep, um, what do you call them? Deep gems, deep dark, not deep dark, deep lands gems. And as you can see, there's quite a few interesting creatures down there. And I'm not going to go down because, well, that's not the point of this. <laughs> but anyway, so you'll want to go to the ceiling as we did right here on this ladder and look there. But you'll also want to fight the guys down here because if you get the deep, deep land gems, you can use those to make ender chests. You can use those to make ender pouches. In fact, the, the gems you get from the realms, any of the realms will work. Um, so you can get them from the nether, you get the nether gems there, um, you know, whichever ones you have handy. But you can also spend them with Lotto Man. And you can see I've got 
uh, a waypoint over there. There's a lotto man there. And what he does is you can trade him things. Some, some of them take coins. Some of them take uh, like higher level coins, not the copper. Um, this guy over there took Deepland gems. And you get totems from that. And you place them on the ground and you break them. And it's a lotto. I got a bunch of seeds and a couple of Deepland gems. If you're lucky, you'll get a really cool weapon. I wasn't that lucky. <laughs> so there's lots of things to this mod pack and uh, the advent of Ascension has so much to it. It is, it, it, it's almost overwhelming if you don't really have a way to, to get started. So um, hopefully seeing the mod pack at this stage will uh, help you get a, a feel of familiarity for it. Yes, and as uh, Gordon says, we haven't even scratched the surface of what's available here. This was our first realm that we went to aside from the nether. So yeah, there's a lot more. There's a lot more. Alrighty, so now we're back. And I will show you what the, the uh, realm stones look like. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> ah, doors and ladders. The bane of my existence. Yes, every time we go away, some of these guys move in and try to set up shop. I We try to discourage that, but you know, what can you do? Alright, so this is the box of Advent of Ascension thingies. So here, uh, this is a charging table. We found this in the deep lands, but we don't know how to use it yet, so I'll just say that it exists and we'll hopefully find out what it does. Here's the nether gems. So that's what, you can see that the gems have a common look to them. They probably just have different colors. Um, I'll also tell you about elemental arrows here in a second. Some fire runes, I believe we found those in the nether. Moon dust. You need that in order to make um, ender chests and ender pouches and the like. I uh, imagine there's other things that, but that's what I've been using this for. And you need to kill mobs on a full moon and it might be certain mobs. I'm sure Gordon will fill me in if there's certain mobs that drop it, but you need a full moon in any case. So here we have some of these realm stones. We have ancient cavern. We've not been there. Here's the Deeplands realm stones, which we have been to. The Haven realm stones, which we found tonight. And Mysterium realm stones. Gordon actually found those tonight. So I'm not, I'm not sure where that is. That's interesting. A predator upgrade kit. All right. I have no idea where that came from. All right. Uh, Elemental arrows. Elemental arrows are just made with limonite, holly top petals, and feathers. And holly top petals, you can get the seeds by breaking grass. Um, and we have some of the plants planted in our garden over here. And I think I showed them to you last time. Oh, you get the trees by ki or get the seeds by killing tree spirits. Oh, sorry. They look like um, ants, the tree spirits. Okay, I know I'd gotten some. I, th I was picking a lot of flowers um, for get getting ready to start some botania. Uh, so I know that I got some seeds, and I didn't realize it was from the ants that were tree spirits, rather, that I had been fighting. So. As you can see, I got a decent amount, um, enough to get started anyway, and make uh, a decent hydrangea um, mana supply well, which uh, should be a good start. And last but not least, uh, this gun. Where did you find it, Gordon? The laser blaster. The absurdly large gun. <laughs> ah, he killed a hell spot in the nether and it dropped it. So you can get cool weapons on occasion for mobs. And this is a cool weapon. 
as you can see um, it consumes energy uh, so if you look at my green up on the top there the one that says 200 on the upper right when I fire this you'll see that it goes down so keep your eye on that Unfortunately, it I don't know if it's just a user error or something, but it does seem to get stuck in auto fire mode and you have to kind of switch off of it to stop it. Um, sometimes when I double click, it does stop like it says it will and sometimes it doesn't. So um, it's probably user error. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's pretty much everything uh, that I wanted to show you today for this end of the day tour. Unless uh, Gordon can think of anything that I missed. Oh, that one looks even more absurd. All right, so we have a minigun, and it takes metal pellets. Aha. I see it has some knockback to it, too. Thank you very much. I think I like my uh, laser gun better. Alas, I don't know if I can repair it. It's at about 80% now. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it. Oh, you just spawned that in for demonstration. Ah, <laughs> that's why it was so pristine. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be it for this end of the day tour. Um, Gory says you can repair almost anything with rosite, so, um, hey, maybe I'll try that. Um, hmm. Now, rosite's not that easy to find, though, because we've only got four pieces of it, and as I recall, it's pretty rare, so... Yeah, I can see that you really have to be really fond of a weapon before you'll want to replace it. Or, or to use the rosite to repair it. As we progress, we'll have more. Okay. Well, once it gets more damage, then I'll, I'll see about repairing it. But I'm, it's only about 20% damage, so I'm not going to do that right now. High level forging can drop it. Ooh, I bet that's hot, really high level. <laughs> I'm only 15 at the moment. All right, guys, this is this this is the end of today's end of the day tour, the second one for Departed. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the stream sometime. The current plan is to stream Departed every Friday, and if and when my schedule allows, uh, there's a possibility of adding one more day. And well, we'll see see how that goes. In any case, you have a good night I, or a good day, whatever it is for you. I'll see you later. Bye!